Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Adam, this is my channel Adam Sews, and this is Friday Sews on a Saturday. So Friday Sews didn't happen yesterday, I was manically busy, I was working all day, I came home, I had a lot of things to do, I had a headache and I was just not in the right frame of mind to record yesterday. But that is a added benefit though because today there is going to be a drop on rainbow fabrics website this evening and there is going to be some tulip pink backing fabrics which are going to go live this evening they are massively discounted compared to what they are normally and if you use the code adam sews at the checkout you'll also get an extra discount so if anyone is looking for any of the backing for besties or if they're looking for the ladybugs from uh, Tiny Beasts or the quilt backing from True Colours. They've got some of the Hexy in blue, in black and white, and they've also got some of the Fairy Flakes white on white with Snowfall, I think it is Snowflakes or something. Um, so that will go live this evening at 6pm on Rainbow Fabrics website, and if you pop the code Adam Sews in, it will give you an extra discount. Um, I will be eagerly waiting at 6pm to go on there and make sure I've got plenty in my basket because I do love a quilt backing. Um, so moving on about what I have been up to this week, um, I will go through something that turned up this week, which was the, I've got two things turned up this week. One was I got a book, uh, another Laurie Holt book, which is Granny Squared. This is a smaller book of hers that contains multiple patterns um, to do different sorts of quilts. This one here is made from two and a half inch scrap squares. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting my head around making one of those at some point but it won't be anytime soon because i've got about six quilts on the go already the things that i have also had turn up this week i had a package from the lovely russ that is quilt meets world on youtube i will link his channel down below he reached out to me a little while ago um when we were on a zoom call actually because we do a men's zoom sewing that's hosted by Stephen bland from the idiot quilter who's also on youtube and i'll also link down below um, and he does a men's sewing day once a month on a Sunday normally. Um, and we were talking on there and Russ said that he had some out of print Tabby Road, Tudor Pink original Tabby Road, not Deja Vu that's coming out in August. And if I would like some of it, I was welcome to it. So I said, yes, please. Um, and we've come to the agreement that I'm actually going to take it as partial payment towards some bags that he's asked me to make for him. So this turned up this week. So this is the original fur balls from Tabby Road. And there's a massive chunk of it here. So I've got lots of plans for this. And I'm really excited to actually have my hands on the original Tabby Road because I've never, ever been able to get hold of any of it. Um, it seems to be one of those collections that just seems to disappear off these stashes before you can even blink. So I was really grateful for that and I am really looking forward to getting started on Russ's bags, um, which I should be able to get started this week, I hope. So what have I made this week? I have made quite a few things this week. I've made three caddies. One of them has gone already, which I'll insert a picture of here if I can. Um, that was a caddy that was a mix of besties and everglows. It had the dogs, the giraffes, the rabbits um, and various other prints on there as well which made that that um caddy and I was really really happy with that one I really like that um the other one that I've made is a dragonfly caddy which is part of a order of two um of a custom order this one is the first of the custom order and there's a second one that's going to go with that to a lovely lady in America um she has also ordered one in like really beautiful batik fabrics which I'm just waiting on them to turn up so that I can make the second one. The other one that I made that is Dobby running around with a bone because he likes to do that at the minute I film. The other one that I made is this Liberty Caddy which is almost finished. I've just got to finish the it's got the pockets and everything done. I just need to make the divider for the uh, I need to make the base stabilizer sleeve and put the base stabilizer in and then I just need to do the final binding around the edge here um and I absolutely love this I'm not gonna lie um so yeah I'm looking forward to finishing that one I'm just waiting for some fabric to turn up for the binding and then the lovely Claire who is the sewing bear 27 um, one of the lovely ladies that I have met through the different sewing socials um, and she asked me if I could make some we call them bum bags Americans call them fanny packs it just depends where you're from she asked me if I would make one for her granddaughter I believe it is 
Um, so I made her this one, which was the one with the pandas on it, and it's all the purple fabrics to go with it. Um, these are really good because they've got a zip on the back, they've got two zips on the front, and then they've got a zip pocket internally as well. But she, when I made her this one, she said that she wanted pandas, but I said I couldn't work out whether the pandas would look better or whether the giraffes would look better because of them being purple. So I made both, and she's really happy, and she's actually asked if she could have both of them. So that's all that has been happening in here this week. There is, at the moment, a quilt that is just exploded over the room because my husband is halfway through making a second quilt. Um, and I'm hoping to get in here tomorrow and get some bags made and some shirts made. I will say one thing, though. The other thing that did turn up this week, which I've just noticed out the corner of my eye, is a Singer Featherweight. Well, it's not a Singer Featherweight. It's from the Featherweight shop. It's a magnetic pin um cushion that you can put on the end of your featherweight so you can put pins on there um this came from the lovely philip that runs the singer featherweight uk group on facebook and i think he might have a couple left if you wanted one of those i'll pop the link to the group down below um and yeah that's it for me this week it's gonna be short and sweet friday says on a saturday as it didn't happen yesterday and I will see you all soon. I'll talk to you all very soon and I am going to go and set my alarm for tonight at six o'clock and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.